So, how do you like your pizza? Plain? Pepperoni? Or with turtles and rats on it? Hey, what's up, YouTube land? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles pop-up pizza playset, Anchovy Alley. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So here it is. You can see we have a whole pizza box theme going on here. Yes, you have a nice uh, illustrated artwork here of the four turtles. Pop up pizza placements and you know stuff and things. 18 inches tall. And over here you have stuff and things. Over here you have some more uh, pizza box uh, graphics going on here. I love how they actually advertise that the packaging itself is a uh, a feature. <laughs> pizza box pa package for playset storage. Yay! Again, more pizza box graphics. Pop-up pizza playset on the back. You have your obligatory product shot and all the stuff that it can do and things and stuff and the other. And that's basically it for the packaging. I'm not going to throw it because there's stuff in here. And the cool thing is, is that the packaging itself does open like a pizza box. Clever. Clever. <laughs> so clever. And inside you have your playsets. Just bring it out and it just has these little plastic bits in the corners just to have in there as a buffer let's take all that put that to the side and here is your pizza box playset which guess what looks like a pizza box oh look at it it's a pizza box and here in the corner you have that same piece of artwork there of the four turtles really cool on the other side you see a manhole cover but yeah no it's all right but yeah this is really neat. It's really cool. I do quite like it. Um, but yeah. Really cool. So let's get down to actually opening this thing up. And what you're going to do is, you're first going to start off by opening up this flap right here. Take that. Bring that up. You're going to bring this whole section up. And you'll see in here that you have storage. You see here you have two pizzas here. You have two pizzas here. And these are for your pizza thrower. And you can see these are just stickers that you apply yourself. So you get four pizzas. And then you pull this out. And you have your pizza thrower. You just take it. You flip this part up. And basically this just works via just loading the pizzas. Whoops. Loading the pizzas up top. Then you just pull this lever back. Release it. And... Oh, well, if it works right. <laughs> pull back and it shoots the pizzas. So, there you have that. Put that off to the side for now. So, once you're done with that, you're going to take this, extend it the rest of the way, and it will lock into place. Oh, everything else falling apart. Then you stand it up. And then once you do that, you take this, bring it down, and everything unfolds. Let's raise the camera up, because things just got tall. Oh my god. And again, it is quite a big playset. It's I mean, it's 18 inches tall, so it was quite large. I can't even get it all in camera, really. But there it basically is. The only other thing you have to do is just take this little street lamp here and just, you know, bring this out like that. And there you have it. There you have your pizza playsets. And really cool. Um, this is stickering. Uh, this uh, detail on the doors is stickers. Stickers right here, stickers right here. Um, this whole little subway scene right here is one big sticker. So, yeah, it's cool. You know, it's got some, uh, some nice detail in there. Antonio Spitzalama! You got that going on there. You know, some nice detailing. The, the, the paint apps are, are simple, basic. There's not a lot going on here. Um, I really wish they had actually put some more paint apps around here because this looks really plain. It's just that unpainted plastic. Been nice if they had made this look a little dingier or whatnot, but still looks cool. And you got some nice brick detailing going on here and some grates and vents. And you got your manhole covers and uh, the floor here is just, you know, full of detail. Like spare tires and even some, some, some rats going on here and whatnot. 
Um, you got your manhole cover. Well, not a manhole cover. It's like a almost like a safe, but I forget. I forget what that's supposed to be called. You know what it's called. I don't have to tell you. You guys are smart. You know exactly. <laughs> you know exactly what that is. But um, yeah. So you have that, and that's that's basically the playset, and it's it's quite cool. I do I do quite like it, and it does have. Little action features, and let me see if I can actually show them off because this might be hard to do. Okay, Let's see if we can get in close here. So one of the features is this feature works best if you actually kind of pre-open the doors. They are just you know they do just uh, just tab in, so you want to kind of have them a little pre-opened. That just makes the gimmick work best. So let's just say you're an unsuspecting foot soldier. You're just hanging out in front of the pizzeria, you know, just minding your own business, doing, you know, foot soldiery type stuff. Even though you can't stand right. There you go. You're doing foot soldier type stuff. You're minding your own business. And let's say, as a, well, let's say you fall off the street because you're drunk. That's okay. Let's we'll hook Donatello on here. Now again, let's just say <laughs> that you're an unsuspecting foot soldier just hanging out in front of a pizzeria, minding your own business, doing foot soldiery type things, and next thing you know, go! Oh, you get kicked through the pizza door, through the pizzeria door of the pizzeria. That's unfortunate. <laughs> That's a neat little feature. This little spring-loaded gimmick here just flips them right in. So, that's neat. A neat little gimmick. I'm going to come down here and show off some other gimmicks here. Bring the camera down. Now let's just say, you're an unsuspecting foot soldier. Just hanging out in the sewers on top of a manhole cover. Why is there a manhole cover in the sewers? I don't know, but hey, let's not question it because, you know, it's not supposed to make sense. But, you know, unsuspecting foot soldier hanging out in the sewers on top of a manhole cover. You push down on this lever right here and, oh, he gets flipped. He gets flipped all over the place because, you know, foot soldiers aren't liked at all. So, yeah. They have that feature. Uh, one other thing you can do here is with the uh, with the pizza thrower, you do have multiple points where you could connect this. You could plug it in right here, you could plug it in right here, and you could plug it in right here on the floor. So you have an option as to where you want to uh, display your your pizza thrower for the best pizza throwing edge. You can totally do it. And of course, the last gimmick. It's getting close here. Let's set Donatello up here so he can properly execute this. Get him gripping this bar right here. Get him ready to go. Let's just have him up here doing a handstand because he can do that. There we go. So let's say you're an unsuspecting crane. Yeah, you know, you're just hanging out in the sewers doing little crangy type things, you know, like crane tend to do. And out of nowhere, oh! A turtle drop kicks you through a metal door that sucks that sucks <laughs> oh man but yeah those are just those are the little gimmicks that this thing has it's cool like I said I I do quite like it let's try to get this all back a shot here if we can which we probably can't because this thing is quite, quite big. But, um, yeah, it's a cool little playset. I like it. It's, it's, it's the smaller, cheaper alternative to that really big playset that's like 150 bucks. This is only, uh, I got this at Toys R Us for $26.99, I think. And, um, Definitely a much cheaper alternative if you want to play set for your turtles and you don't have the space or don't want to spend that much on that humongous uh, play set for your turtles. It's neat. I, I really do quite like it. Um, 
and we definitely recommend it. Like I said, it's just it's it's a nice cheap alternative to that ginormous playset. And basically, you fold it all back up. You just want to take off the pizza thrower, fold it up like that. You know, you want to take this uh, the street light here. Just you know, fold that back in like that. Then you take this, raise it all up, collapses in. Make sure everything's closed. Come here. Make sure those doors are closed. Like that. Come in here. Store your pizza thrower. Store your pizzas. Two pizzas here. Two pizzas here. And then you just close it all up. And voila. Back to a pizza box. That's what I like about this. This is just such a cool idea. I mean, I, I really, really like this. Very, very cool. And, I'm, and again, I'd recommend it. It's, it's really neat. I do quite like it. I've been having uh, quite a bit of fun with this thing. I, I really am digging it. So I would definitely say pick it up. It's a nice little display for your turtles, and uh, it's, it's fun to play with. So I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What the heck is this thing called? Let me get the box because I forgot the name of this thing. I'm dropping things everywhere. There is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Pop-Up Pizza Place at Anchovy Alley. That's what it's called. And this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, palm in your face. Oh, you have a plan to stop the turtles. We will destroy all the pizzerias in the city. They will be weak, and then we can defeat them. Looks like those bad guys got the foot. Really? Is that the best pun you could come up with? Yeah. Can somebody get me down? <laughs>